a long time ago I ordered some of these mini servos from China. They generally sell for about four dollars a piece and I got a bag of three for 350 so I'm fairly sure that these are actually clones. This one I removed the label off so I could open it and it looks pretty good inside. Now servo basically is a high torque motor that you can move 180 degrees or as it actually says you can move it from 0 to minus 90 to plus 90 on the shaft. Very rarely with these micro servos will you get a full 180. I found personally on these that I've bought it can go from 2 to 7 to 175, 6 ish without a problem. As you can see, they're very, very small. And basically, a servo is a tiny electric motor here going through a bunch of gears in here to get a high torque motor output drive shaft. That drive shaft on the back side, which you can't see in here, is connected to a variable resistor or potentiometer. That potentiometer gives feedback on the angle that the shaft is at. So you can always get uh, a read, you can read these and get that angle of the shaft and then you can decide you know, where you want to go from there by sending a pulse down the, in this particular case, the um, yellow wire. Well it's actually more orange but it appears yellow on this camera. Um, <clears throat> and doing reads or writes is basically you're getting a pulse length square wave defining the position if it's a read of where the shaft is and if it's a write the pulse high to low determines what position you want the shaft to go to. They also come with a little bag of headers for the shaft um, three different types plus two mounting screws plus a shaft screw and they're extremely high torque. There is a video out there on saying how you can take this apart, take out that variable resistor, put in a voltage divider which is in essence two resistors of the same value so that the machine, the servo, always thinks it's at zero degrees. That way you can then have the shaft turn 360 degrees in either direction of varying speeds according to the pulse length. But of course once you've taken the resistor out the device can never give you information of where it actually the shaft is because it's now set to be always at zero. But you end up with a high torque motor which is quite cool. So anyhow I bought a bag of three as I say and there is a project out on the internet called Catbot Here's the device look, they're called Tower Pro SG90 I think, micro servo. But as I say there's a project out on the net using Arduino and you basically end up having a horizontal servo and a vertical servo. And on the vertical servo you put a, a, a LED, red LED pointer and the vertical servo is mounted on the horizontal servo. So you end up with a, a horizontal twist to whatever degrees you want, randomly in any direction, and vertically the same deal. And you put it in a darkened room with a cat, and the cat spends the next week chasing the red dot. And whatever. And I decided to use a little nano, I hope it's okay in focus. And it's just literally power, ground and two signals these two here. In my case I think I used uh, 8 and 9 to, to drive the two servos. Now let me just see if I can power it on without pressing the button. Well there is one I have to press. The on button. And there it is. They're randomly positioning themselves. Different speeds and different times. Delay times I mean. So this is the horizontal servo, 
so obviously you've got to keep it with an arc of your room and the vertical servo obviously you in this particular case was a cat bot you'd want to keep it pointed on the carpet and probably not the wall especially if your cat's got sharp claws because they'll start chasing after it it's a fun little project don't know what I'm going to do with them because I've forgotten I even ordered them it was months ago um, the other thing I should mention is the Arduino be it a Nano or Nuno can only drive one of these directly off the Arduino power supply if you try and draw if you try and connect two to it it'll blow the fuse on both of them the self-healing fuses these little things here so I'm using an external source 9 volt down to 5 and powering everything from this power supply which has got plenty of power for probably four or five of these servos but I must admit it's sort of mesmerizing to watch being random of course I don't know where the heck they're going to go anyhow that's it it's just a fun little project as they all are bye